mission was to try and find somewhere that would allow us to grow to, you know, Peck Ambassadors, which we both are, and Sweet Dignity Volunteers, which we both are, something that we could amalgamate everything together mm -hmm. um, and also uh, be able to build on the services that we were providing already. Yeah, because it did, it became really apparent when people were coming into the, the HQ shop that there were, there were people looking for a lot of help with furniture who were, you know, they would be getting a flat after being homeless. So, and there's a lot of things that go to landfill as well. So it was, you know, it was, it was a no brainer. You know, instead of it going to landfill, donate it to us and then we can get it to the right people that need it. Yeah, and even the nursery stuff, you know, mm -hmm. things like buggies and travel systems, it's great to have, but they take up a massive mm -hmm. amount of floor space. Yeah. So we, 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 we had to look for something with all these mm -hmm. things in mind. And I don't, I, I think, I don't even know how we stumbled across this. I think somebody had said they had a, a storage unit to, to let, you know, one of the transporter type steel ones. Um, and I got in touch with them and he said, actually, what you're talking about, I think there's a man that could maybe help you. So he said that we could have uh, the, the sort of the top floor essentially mm -hmm. of this building, which is it's far more suitable for our needs. However, it is accessible, but the ramp to lead up um, from the back of the building to make it accessible was covered in trees that had been uh, knocked down, chippings that had happened, and the job for 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 us when we we're trying to operate we're trying to operate these things for the community. We don't have enough hours in the day to do that, let alone. Shifting all Shifting, the... Shifting, you know, all the stuff. Because yeah. it would essentially have taken us months. I had a, a conversation with uh, Bob Davis and uh, he told us about Caledonian Horticulture and that they, you know, what you, what you did about recycling the green waste and everything else and had said, you know, look, uh, they're so community committed that if we go to them maybe with a plan, they possibly could help you uh, and I'm absolutely t delighted to say that the guys are here today mm -hmm. all smiling all just getting on with the job working really well with Alan Hay Ruffin who've turned up today and, yeah. and they've made such an impact in a couple of hours and and we're absolutely, yeah, it's absolutely we're fantastic. so thankful for it because once that's clear we have the, you know, we can bring the furniture in on dump trucks and push it up instead of carrying things upstairs. Um, and uh, as I say, it will make it accessible to to everyone in the community that was worried that if we took the clothing out of the HQ and it went into the town hall again, yeah, that they would be, be able inaccessible. to... There's a lot yeah. of people that use the service that do need access, so yeah. that ramp's really important.